right in the center of New Delhi Sacred Heart Cathedral. A Roman Catholic church is situated in the outer reaches of Connaught Place. towering red building in the middle of very beautifully landscaped lawns, the place is hard to give a miss to. One of the oldest churches of Delhi, the Sacred Heart Cathedral was built in the 1930s under the initiation and guidance of Father Luke and is a striking structure built in the Italian style of architecture. This church is of uh, historical importance because it was made in 1935, completed. Uh, it took five years to complete the work. It was built by Father Luca Vanucci, an Italian Capuchin priest who was working in, in, in Delhi at that time. This church is the most important church in the Delhi Archdiocese because it is known as the cathedral and it is the biggest church of the Archdiocese. A lot of people from all over the state comes to this cathedral, especially on Sundays. Uh, there is no restriction to anyone from coming to this church. St. Columbia School and the Jesus and Mary Convent School run by the parish, together occupying a staggering 14 acres of land close to the southern end of Bhai Veer Singh Mark in Connaught Place. Cathedral campus, we have two uh, major re uh, educational institutions that is Columbus School and uh, Convent of Jesus and Mary School. Uh, the Convent of Jesus and Mary School has already uh, completed 100 years. Even before the church was made, the school was made in order to cater to the education needs of all the girl ch children in our uh, state. Especially in Delhi, most of our children were educated in this school. And St. Columbus caters to the boys in and around Delhi uh, and they have completed more than 75 years of their service to the nation and to the society in Delhi. Within the church complex also lies the Maria Bhavan, which is a sophisticated red building that serves as the living quarters for the church's fathers and visiting priests. A brilliant life-size statue of Reverend Pope John Paul II welcomes you as you enter the church's complex. Christianity, the basic principle is love. Jesus came as a human being, God becoming man, that is the main thing of Christmas, God becoming one among us. And the message is, peace be with you. And therefore, Christianity always strives for peace, joy and love among humanity. So, the basic principle of Christianity is love, because God, who became man, died on the cross, forgiving all those people who sinned against him, and in order to redeem the humanity, he died, and he, he always gave the commandment, love one another as I have loved you. The church interior has flawlessly polished floors of stone, giant arches and a very high curved roof. Italian style arcaded white pillars complete the mesmerizing picture. The walls along the entire perimeter of the church are beautified with the scenes from Holy Bible. The altar made of marble was donated to the church by one of the British officials of the time, as was the furniture and the church bell. All in all, the crafted interior is a real work of art. We have uh, mainly the church has got the religious activities like the Holy Mass, 
on sunday we have seven services being held here in different languages so we have services in malayalam hindi english and people from all over the state ncr comes and participate in this uh, cathedral right behind the altar is a giant depiction of the last supper the final meal that jesus is believed to have in jerusalem before his crucifixion standing before it even for a brief moment instills a sense of goodness in the most unbelieving of people The whole church remains silent and peaceful except for prayer times and celebrations. Just sitting there in wake of God for some time doing nothing calms the mind and senses completely. Festivals like Onam, Easter, Christmas and the New Years are celebrated at the cathedral with special prayers and feast where people from all over the city come together. This year for Christmas we have uh, restricted the public from coming in because of the uh, threat of omicron uh, keeping the concerns and the health of the general public at large. Uh, if we allowed the general public to come probably 1 lakh plus people would be coming and therefore we had decided this year that only all those faithful who are registered online to come for the mass will be allowed to come for the prayer service and the mass on christmas day other people as we usually used to do will not be allowed to enter the cathedral campus on that day The church personnel are kind enough to guide you through a brief history of Christianity and to share snippets from the Bible on request. Copies of the Bible, some informative pamphlets as well as magazines are available outside the church. A weekly free clinic is also run in the Maria Bhavan affirming the church's dedication to the good of all humanity. We have a society called Vincent de Paul which caters to the poor and the needy and the sick. Every Monday we have people who are in need of help come to the society and the committee looks after the case and make a, make a study and what our help can be given to those people are given, especially given rations, medicines and financial support whenever possible. On Saturdays we have a homeopathic doctor being available to the people who need and also acupressure also was given but due to the covid situation we have stopped the services for last 2 years if you want to feel one with the higher power and witness a truly beautiful place of worship come drop by whenever you feel like